the brakes are all put on, ready to go. I like to put on this side first when you already have the springs on. And then I, what I do is I will kind of um, get this in, in place and spread these a little bit farther out and then push them on and they work fine. Now let's, let's discuss how this works just for a minute. Okay, these are called clamshell brakes. When, just pretend that the wheel is already on here and that it's free, it's free spinning, okay? You probably have, I don't know, just a little bit of space around the wheel. When you pull on the brake lever, it pulls the brake lever towards the front and what that does is expand the clamshell. It expands it and these pads hit on the uh, moving drum and slow it down. Okay? So your wide open would be about right there. And, and, and then when you let off on, the, on your brake lever, it comes out like this. Now if we look at the, this will give you an idea of how the brake wear indicator works. The indicator is right here. Your uh, brake wear limit is right there, right where that triangle is. So if your indicator matches this, it means that your brakes are worn out and you need to replace them. So if you go down like this, and that's, that's wide open right there, okay? That's, that's a little bit beyond the, um, the triangle. So if we let off just a little bit, that indicator lines up. See, that's, that's full open. There's where it lines up. When that lines up, it shows you that your brakes, you don't have any, you don't have any pads left. Okay? Now you can buy these. I don't I think they were like um they're like eight dollars a set. And they just come with this one and this one, and then you use all your regular components to rebuild the brakes. If you do rebuild the brakes and you notice there is some oil or something because you got greasy hands, you can't do this all in some beautiful operating room like they do in the manuals. You're out there in the field, you're out there in the racing pits, you're out there, you know, in some cool looking garage in Indonesia with um, bling all over the place. Indonesians got the best bling. They do. I mean, it's just, I mean, the Philippines, I'm sorry. Um, I don't know, that's, don't know if that's connected, but Filipino cars are the most, when they say make, make me a grill, they put a grill on an entire bus or car. You see this thing coming from Mars. It's so cool. I wish we Americans invented that, but uh, we can't invent everything. We, we just, we do, we're not that cool in that area. No disrespect uh, meant for all my Philippine uh Friends, the next thing we're going to do, now that the brakes are built, is to, we're going to tear apart the racing Makuni carburetor and put the power valve on it, which is going to require some machining, it's going to require some work. And I have all the instructions, I have everything to build it, but I've never built one. So you're going to follow along just like I am. And we're going to build a power valve. The power, the way the power valve works, is that instead of having wide open throttle, where your needle valve is all the way up, and you're pushing all this fuel up into the carburetor that goes into the intake, what it does is part of the fuel goes up through the jet, and the other part is shot down the back or right down the bung hole with another jet. So we're going to see how that works. Hope you like the series so far. 120cc deal. Rock on. Oh and Merry Christmas or Merry Boxing Day or uh, whatever else day you celebrate in your country because I haven't been into a lot of countries. I have been to um, 
Southern Oregon, and I have been to Canada. That's about it. Rock on from Dio Speed Demon.